station where all the street gangs meet. Garbage flying through the air, some could be my own. For me, it's just a way of life, the place I call my home. And we play music, we pick and grin, and we're always on the go. So come on in, cop a squad, beat your face, it's time to watch Talent in the Ghetto. Sing me by 
Just cheered me up. There's nothing like a good old fashioned song. Merle Haggard song. Merle Haggard song that cheered me up. Oh, Pearl Maggot. Before we do anything, before we do anything. Hi, folks. What's your magic word? Howdy. I'm just so proud to be here. You're proud to be here? Yes. Your magic word? Yahoo! <laughs> and you're proud to be here? As much as I he ain't saying much. He's ignoring me. What about you? I'm happy to be here. You're happy In to my be age, here? I'm happy to be anywhere. <laughs> and we are down in the ghetto. I'm Pat Robinson. This is the co-host over here. That's uh, I'm Mel. You're Mel? That's Mel. We got our buddy Ted. He's always here in the ghetto That's band. Ted. And today, and today. Dwayne. We got, we, we, didn't I not say Dwayne? Special yeah, appearance. Well, forget about me, huh? Thanks a lot. Nobody. Special appearance. Nobody see you? What can I say? You caught me. You caught me. <laughs> we got a special guest, guest today. <laughs> tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> he is kind Try of special. Again. Your turn. <coughs> Dwayne has the capabilities and the qualities of being real special. He does. He got special needs, special everything. Introduce our, <laughs> introduce our friend. We got a friend here, but I'm gonna let him introduce him. Hi. My name is Julian Marks. I own and co I and co row, run uh, a talent agency called Mackenzie Lynn Talent, and I am here just to sit and listen to these gentlemen play. And now he got under my skin, calling this gentleman right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> right on. I can't believe it. That worked wrong. Well, 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 yeah. we Everything wanted... was fine. Now it's going down. Now I don't know what to say. Now we got to say another thing about our sponsor. We uh, put. Hi, I'm Mel Wilson. I'm the co-host of Talent in the Ghetto. Uh, we're here today to uh, 
to ask you to uh, to donate to uh, Salvation Army. We have a uh, promotional thing going. Uh, we're giving away a Fender Tele Stratocaster, excuse me, a Stratocaster guitar, uh, compliments of the pawn shop on Silverton Road. Uh, you can go in and buy uh, $1 raffle tickets, or they're six for $5. Proceeds go, like I say, to the Salvation Army. It's that time of the year. There's a lot of homeless people out there that's not going to have any presents this year or not going to have any warmth to sleep. Place to sleep is warm. Uh, food, and we're hoping to change that. Um, the drawing will take place on the 15th of December, so you have from now until then. The tickets are at the pawn shop right now. You uh, you buy your tickets for a dollar. You fill out the back. Stick it, and we'll, we'll stick it in the jar, and we'll have a drawing. We'll have the drawing on the uh, 15th of December, and uh, we, we should get out and get behind this, uh, our sponsorship of these people. They, uh, they can really use the money, and uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Rise and start a pawn shop. Pawn shop. Ooh, the pawn shop. All my friends are down there. The pawn shop. Something you wrote uh, that is do that one we did down there that time. <laughs> what time? <laughs> that one time. That one time. <laughs> uh, that one time. You remember? Do that one you do real good. <laughs> no, that's not it. That's uh, not the one you do. Real I thought good. it was though. No, uh, that one you did down there where we didn't have a PA system. Where nobody could hear it. Yeah, yeah that was why it was good. Yeah, that's why it was good. <laughs> but we heard it up here on stage. We could hear it. Did you? Yeah. That's that one that you do real good. I don't know what it is. I don't know what key it's in. I don't in. know key that I do one really good, but I'll try and pick a one. I don't key know back. what key it's in. I don't, I don't even know if I can do one, much less whether it's really good or not. Well, can you do it in key up west? Swing the drawer. Raise a little cane while oh, I'm still okay. able. Okay, I have heard that one before. And we wrote this one. 
What are you going to do with it? Let us know that too. I'm trying to figure this part out. Oh, okay. Well, when you get figured out, was no tell. How about a like motel? Well, I patronize each barroom in this town. I'm on the dance floor when the sun goes down. Some might be calling me a bum, but I don't deserve that label. I'm gonna raise a little cane when I'm still able. I read it in the good book and I believe it doesn't happen after even Adam ain't done to see. But now our days are numbered, though I'm sure that ain't no fable. I'm gonna raise a little cane when I'm still able. your mind. I know I'm growing older, soon I won't be none too stable. I'm going to raise, help me guys, a little table, I'm still able. Oh, pick it, Dwayne. But if you get it, I got the cure. I've had cancer. And I've had cancer too. Okay. It's called Mel. My cancer. I had this pain a long time ago. I had this pain for years. A little tired. He's still there. I'm getting a little tired of this.
pretty. You know, guys, I just got to tell you about some of the neat stuff we got going on right now. We're, we're going to involve Kaiser an awful lot in with our Salem projects. And uh, so, therefore, we got a special guest from Kaiser today, Mr. Jason Cox from the Kaiser Times. So listen to him and all the goodies he got going on Kaiser. They're going to involve you all, too, okay? Tell them about it, Jason. Yeah. What's going on at Kaiser? Well, I think the big thing happening right now is the Festival of Lights Parade. You'll probably remember that was in Salem for many, many, many years. And took 2010 off and come into Kaiser in 2011. And it's going to be settling around uh, right on River Road. And that's going to be at 7 o'clock on December 10th. And that's a Saturday night. And I think some of the businesses along there are going to be trying to, you know, sort of capitalize. It's a, you know... Economy is not getting any, <laughs> doesn't seem to be getting any better anyway. So a lot of businesses are taking this opportunity to um, show folks what they've got to offer, um, give them some hot chocolate, invite them in, maybe even give them a tent so they don't have to sit in the rain and watch the parade. Well, not that we want it to rain, of course, but it's just Oregon. you, you got to be realistic. It's Oregon. It's Oregon, and uh, but that's been probably that you know you want to see what's going on in Kaiser. That's what I hear the biggest buzz about right now is. Uh, um, Kaiser does love itself a parade. Uh, it's known for the Iris Festival Parade that comes through each and every May. And the hope is, among a lot of folks, that this is going to stay and remain a, sort of a Christmas tradition in Kaiser for a long time to come. Um, probably won't make it uh, before the air, but I think just this Tuesday they got the Christmas tree lighting coming up. And, uh, and as you know, Kaiser also does the Gubser Miracle of Lights display um, where folks can come in and see what all of the neighbors in the neighborhood have going on as far as uh, different light displays and what's neat is that it's all for charity all of these things are raising food for different organizations throughout the area and boy you can't find I mean you just see those stats going up and up and up yeah that sounds great we're into that where's, you know, the, where's the tree going to be located when it's uh, what part of Kaiser's uh, Christmas well it's pretty be? well right in the center of town Kaiser's uh, you know, pretty well along River Road, as you all know. Um, there's a big tree, right? And it's where Cherry Avenue and River Road kind of meet up. Okay. There's okay. a Domino's Pizza there. 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. I think uh, you know, right by the funeral home. <laughs> all of that good stuff. And People it, dying to get in there. <laughs> they really are. <laughs> um, you know, and so it's going to be right there in the center of town. They close off that part of Cherry Avenue, so there's a nice, safe place for... Uh, parents to bring their kids and Santa comes in the you, you never get tired of seeing Santa coming in on the back of that fire truck and uh, You know the looks on the kids faces and um, it's, it's really something special that Kaiser has to offer um, And I haven't had a pleasure of uh, going down to the Salem Riverfront Plaza and covering theirs. I know it's I'm sure it's the same way I've always been taking pictures in Kaiser and I happen to know that it's a special place to be that night right well, what is that thing that, uh, that that I met you at out there that day, the river on the um, by the riverfront down there, uh, where I seen you? What was that? They well, that was the river fair, I'm guessing. River fair, okay, yeah, they got kind of a little um, auditorium thing out there in the round type. Sure, thing. yeah. Well, that's amphitheater. Yeah, that's the Kaiser Rotary, Rotary Amphitheater that got built probably, oh gosh, two years ago now. And what's so interesting about that is that was just about entire volunteer labor. Um, a fellow named Rick Day donated most of the uh, concrete uh, blocks that you see along there that sort of constitute the seating area. All of that's pretty well donated. Um, and it's a really special little venue out there. Um, I think the capacity, if you want it, had people standing around, maybe six, seven hundred people. And... Um, what's neat about it is you got the woods all behind you, so just really makes for kind of an idyllic uh, place to see a concert. And the River Fair is that happens every August, um, and that's actually put on by the Making Kaiser Better Foundation. One of the things that they do is, and I happen to, this is actually uh, near and dear to me. Um, they provide vocational scholarships. Um, you know, not that kids don't need help going to college. Of course they do, but. Um, vocational work is important. Um, you know, give people a trade and give them something to do, and that's what they focus their efforts on as far as as far as a scholarship. Um, 
So it's a really neat thing that they're trying to do, and it's not something that that many groups are doing. Um, you know, a lot of those working class kind of jobs that uh, people can still make a very good living with are sort of being ignored by uh, people with the money to send them to school. So to see that happening is a really neat thing. Great. Oh, and I forgot to tell you about what River Fair actually is. Um, essentially, it's a day-long music, food, fun fair. They got a... If you're into local wines, they've got all kinds of wines. They've got uh, local beers, um, all kinds of different vendors cooking up food. Um, they've got country show, rock show, pretty well, um, you know, all kinds of musical entertainment going on all day long, and that's usually in August. Um, I don't, if the, if the date isn't coming to me right away, but we can get that to you real soon. That'd be great. I hope we can talk about it more. And I hope you send us some talent. We can always use talent over here, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, Kaiser's got a lot of young kids that are doing interesting things. There's, um, and of course you're going to ask me names, but there's a fellow named Maddie who's been a rapper for a few years, and he mm. actually came up with what we always joke is Kaiser's theme song. It's called Kaiser Ain't That Bad. <laughs> <laughs> and this uh, young man wrote it? Uh, yeah, he writes all of his own material. Oh and he's been uh, doing, he just completed a tour of the Northwest and West Coast and played the, you ever heard of the Whiskey A Go Go in Los Angeles? Mm -hmm. sure. um, did a show there. Um, I think he did a show in Vegas, did a show somewhere in Colorado. So, you know, really um, getting out there and trying to make something of himself. And it's pretty neat to see. It sounds like it. And I understand you got a mu musical background too. Saxophone. Oh, well. <laughs> I, I, it'd be tough to call me musical, but I was in the band for a long time. You know, I was one of those social band kids. You know, um, <laughs> there's a lot more girls than there are guys in the band, so. It, <laughs> well, that's always more fun. I mean, actually, if you have to be a guy. You know, yeah, oh, yeah. it was a no brainer at the time. <laughs> Well, hey guys, we've had an awful lot of good times today with uh, Mel and everybody out here, and our good old buddy Julian over here, and everybody. But Jason Cox was really cool. He's going to be back on again. So, just all going to say, hasta la vista. Have a great day. So, see ya at all these events. Have some fun, because there's ghetto grub to eat. And we play music. We pick and grin. So come on in, cop a squat, beat your face, it's time to watch Talent in the Ghetto. ghetto.